welcome everyone to a very special PGL. Here we see that wonderful moment once again where Rogue got to lift the trophy for the very first time. And we're gonna take some time to talk about it because what an incredible weekend it's been for Rogue. I've got Comp, Larson, and Oduwamne with me. We're gonna try and talk to Trimby and Malrung and whoever we can find. Um, but let me go down the line then. Comp, yesterday in PGL, you said, I can tell you one thing, I will lift that trophy. What did you know that we didn't? Well, the reason I said it is because I just felt really confident on myself and my team. It's as Otto said many times in interviews that the moment we got here in Malmo, it just, it, it feels like we're kind of a completely different team. We're like way, we're getting way more along or, or in a way like it's a new environment, right? So everyone just treats everything different. So it's been such a great experience, probably a lifetime experience at this point. So yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful for everything. And I think everyone was the same as confident as me. Okay, it looked like that. I think Odo can't hear anything. I'm just checking. He was pointing at his in ear, but I heard it. He, you can tell him again. Um, Wait, I don't hear you. Also. You don't hear me either. No, no, no. The guys I don't, don't hear, hear me. <laughs> can you hear my? Question? I hear you. I hear you. You hear me? Then we're just going to interview Larson for just a bit. Just Larson. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's it's actually perfect. Also, um, congratulations, Larson. Uh, phenomenal weekend from you as well. Um, I, always when I talk to you in interviews. You seem to not be stressed, even though maybe we say that about you or this or that happens in the game. The same yesterday, you said, I feel great. I'm super confident. This game one you had today, tell me about that, because that was incredible. Uh, yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, I mean, I usually never play LeBlanc, right? Like, almost nope. never. Uh, and I didn't even play it in solo queue or scrims, like, at all. Like, I didn't never played it, like, for many weeks. But in this arena, I don't know, it just felt so insanely comfortable. And if you're comfortable, this champ is very strong. So, I don't know, I just, I just felt amazing in this arena with the audience. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's where the confidence came from. Okay, uh, we often talk about destiny and this and that, and how you, in the end, just have to win it on the rift. But I can't help but feel it was kind of that this weekend for you. Talk to me about the experience of being here with your family on the front row, with your countrymen and women just cheering for you the whole time, and how much power that gave you to lift that trophy today. Yeah, I mean, uh, my parents were in Berlin two weeks ago. I felt like I played better with them there. <laughs> it just felt more comfortable. And with all these people, uh, it also felt even more comfortable. And I guess I just waited for the right moment to win the trophy in my first arena and in Sweden. It, was, uh, it can't get better. Would you say that Rogue... <laughs> um, maybe Rogue never choked. They just needed a bigger arena. Do you think that might be the truth? Can you guys hear me yet? You yeah, can answer. I hear you, I hear you. you can answer. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't talk for other arenas, but Swedish arena looks pretty broken, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> I really don't hear anything. <laughs> Does your mic work, Odo? I'm not hearing anything you're saying. <laughs> okay, I'll try to be super clear. Okay, everyone be quiet. I need to hear, okay? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Lord told me that today um, you took even more of a captain role in terms of the speech yeah. given to the team, etc. Can you say something about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was. I mean, since yesterday we won with me giving a speech, it was kind of like scientifically proven that we win when I would give a speech. <laughs> so uh, I didn't want to leave anything to chance, and uh, I don't know. I felt like I felt like. It, it helped the guys a lot. I, I, I felt like uh, there were like important things for us that everyone needed to hear and everyone needed to, you know, kind of be on the same page uh, mentally. And I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy that uh, that everyone like received it the way it was supposed to be received. We have um, a Kia Finals MVP to give out. And that Kia Finals MVP is Comp. 
unkilled this series. Woo! 24-0, 14. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is your trophy and the flag. <laughs> yeah, I <it's> said yes. <laughs> Can you, is it okay? You got it? It's a poetic place to put it also. Um, so, Cobb, talk me through uh, just this <laughs> series. Um, we were looking at the series and on the desk, we, Reckless was praising the fact that you went for that, Caitlin. He didn't actually believe when you locked it in, but I think that was one of the signs of the fact that you were seemingly playing on a different level from a self-confidence perspective. Was that the case, and why do you think you were able to step it up so much specifically this weekend? Uh, so, I mean, first of all, Kaelin is just one of the terms that I think is just unique uh, about me. It's like I can just pick it whenever I want. And after losing last time to G2, the 3-0 versus uh, laning versus Senna Seraphine in farming for 40 minutes boring gameplay, me and Fred is just saying we just go for laning face every game. We're just going to murder them on lane. So, yeah, that's, that's what we did in the end. <laughs> you murdered them in lane for sure. <laughs> Um, could you say something uh, about your support, Trimby? Because um, he also got celebrated a lot just because of, you know, the way he plays Soraka, yeah. the okay. way he played Tom. Okay, so first of all, I just want to like sum it up about like the Kate game. We actually didn't stop playing, I think about it. But I think it was still a pretty good pick later. But yeah, <laughs> so about Trimby, I think, yes, okay, like I'm the one getting the penta kills in Sweden and all of that and blah, 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 I don't die in finals. But the way Trimby just affects every draft that we have and we know that if we just have last pick support we're gonna win every single game with how flexible he is. I think he's like a big part of the level that I saw at least and the confidence. Basically he also makes me very confident right the way he plays and the way he trusts me with stuff and I trust him the same right so yeah I think we are actually the best bottle in you by far. you guys, but a Greek bot laner saying that he's the best by far and holding the uh, MVP trophy for the finals. That, that's, uh, was that on purpose? Sorry? What, was that on purpose, the by far? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, but speaking of Trimby, Lore is standing by with our support god. Thank you. Thank you, Shax. Trimby. A couple of words about you guys being the best bot lane in Europe. Uh, well, I mean, both teams tried to play against me in an Enchanter matchups and they both lost, so I guess, yeah, that's what happened. Sounds about right. <laughs> you were telling me a couple of minutes ago that you didn't know what happened today. It was still a blur in your head. Have you been able to come down and what are the first words that you want to say about this victory today? How does it uh, feel? I guess we are not choking at the end of the day. Before the series, you told me third time is a charm. What made you believe that today would finally be the day and more so 3-0? I don't know. I mean, we just stomped them like really convincingly and <laughs> It's crazy. I mean, I still can't protest it. Legit, it's it's really hard to protest it. Uh, yeah, I thought it would be like more games. So yeah, uh, I still I still can't protest it. I don't know. It's it's really nice. I mean, I'm not even BMing. I'm just I I can't protest it. Still, what happened? Legit. So my brain is a bit yeah, it's not working properly. <laughs> I talked to Odo earlier, it, we established that it took him seven years to get this title. It took you three finals, Trimby, to get the championship. What does uh, that say about you and your accomplishments? Uh, I mean, I'm happy that third time was actually the charm. I'm really happy about it because I was believing in it too. Maybe not the whole time. I didn't have some, I didn't believe for the whole split, I would say, but yeah, I think this week was very important for me, especially, so yeah, uh, I'm just happy that we managed to pull through and all of the teammates made it look way easier than it should. You didn't know because you were 
playing, but we saw you so many times on camera today, just feeling the vibe, enjoying yourself. <laughs> How good is it to be on stage like this? I don't know, it was very nice uh, compared to last year. I actually, like on the stage specifically, I could just show my feelings, let it be. And yeah, I was enjoying every single second of people che cheering. I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't know who they were cheering for unless I would hear the G2 <laughs> chant, right? So yeah, but I was making, I was making use of it regardless. So I was, I don't know, after every team fight, every, I don't know, I just wanted, I was either calling it in comms and I was showing it I'm happy, or I was doing it by my emotions throughout my body. You did a fantastic job. The whole team did a fantastic job. But also you, Trimby, you were telling me earlier that this victory was important for you, that this victory was special for you. Uh, Do you want to elaborate on that? Uh, thing we it's okay. I think we can, I'm thinking we can end up on this, so. Basically, it was very important week for me because uh, on Wednesday I heard that a person that I played with uh, passed away and he was the person that I played with during my first split in Ultra Liga. And he was the person that kind of showed me how it is to make the team the best environment possible. It was the best team I've had when it, come, when it came to atmosphere. So. Mm -hmm. After his death, unfortunately after his death, I only realized that I actually should try to be like him a little bit. So yeah, when we came here, I kind of tried and yeah, I, uh, yeah. There's no, yes. that he would be immensely proud of you today uh, and that he would basically tell me to stop crying and just go drink drink it up honestly that's what he'll tell me <laughs> uh, he is he is damn right he's damn right for sure he's damn right so yeah uh, yeah i'm also very thankful to all the fans here uh, you made it really insane like it was not It was not even, it was not even remotely close to what I could think it could be the experience. And yeah, you made me feel like an other team uh, teammates better than at LEC Studio. So yeah, guys, you should be proud of yourselves as well. And I hope you are also proud of what you achieved tonight, this year, and everything you did, Trimby. Thank you so much. Again, congrats on being the summer champion for LEC 2022. Right? Thank you. To many more moments like this, hopefully. Okay, I will say... Uh. I mean, I don't know, I wanted to say El Madrileño, this meme that came from Sw Sp <laughs> Spanish thing, but on, on the other hand, I don't know, my nationality is like more Polish, right? So I'll just say one thing. Polska Guro! <laughs> okay. Polska Guro. I think I'm done. And you're great as well. Trimby, thank you so much. Again, shocks. I mean, how can you not love that guy? Um, <laughs> by the way, I saw you guys confused because you heard booze. It wasn't what you think it was. There was a G2 uh, corner that was starting the chant, and I think the whole arena said, no, not right now. Um, but in that regard, I would like to take a minute to ask the team here uh, about their opponents, because you're all going to Worlds, right? So you definitely have a lot to fight for as a European group there, Odo. Uh, let's start with your opponents and what you think actually went wrong for them today and what you think they can do at Worlds. Uh, G2? Yeah. Oh, 
Um, Give them some advice, basically. I mean, I don't know. Like, usually when, uh, when we lose, we get called chokers. So maybe G2 should start with not choking in finals like this. <laughs> That would be a start. It's true. Um, but Odo, I like it. Uh, that's, that's enough, I think, about, about that. Um, <laughs> in terms of Rogue, though, you're now going to Worlds as first seed. That means, you know, obviously a bit of pressure there starting in the group stage. Um, you've had varying performances, I want to say, with your teams at Worlds, right? And I think for Rogue, you wanted to show a bit more, especially last year. What can you tell me about going into Worlds with what you have proven here in Europe this week? Um, I mean, it's it's definitely going to be a test because because um, our performance, you know, in playoffs has not been the best except for this week. So there is still a lot for us to work on if you want to keep the level that we've had today. Um, I, I think the whole experience of going to Worlds together, you know, and the whole road trip and everything is gonna is gonna only make us better because I feel like this experience has been something amazing for us, and I feel like everyone learned from this, and I think everyone's hungry from for more, you know. So I'm I'm quite confident. Uh, I mean, with the, with the maybe chance of jinxing it, but I think uh, we can make good stuff happen for you at Worlds. Awesome, uh, Larson. I'll ask you <laughs> the same question, of course. Um, with what you've shown and kind of the whole switch that I'm hearing that happened within the team atmosphere and what you guys can do, what are your expectations for Worlds? Uh, if we play like we did today, uh, we can go very far, I'm sure of it. Uh, also, hopefully, don't get to a gr group of death again. We got yeah, it like the past We are years. the group of death. Please. <laughs> <laughs> but, but getting first place makes it very hard to get group of death. So, yeah, I mean, if we play like we did today, uh, we can make you very proud, I think. It makes it hard, but not impossible. Don't tempt faith. Uh, comp. Same for you, incredible. Uh, going to Worlds, just going to Worlds won. Going to Worlds as the MVP of the finals that you won over G2, 3-0, I mean, it's incredible. Um, <laughs> well, to be fair, if I sit down and I overthink about this, I might become even more cocky than I am already, right? So maybe I should just stay a bit, a bit of humble, I guess, or how much I left, at least. And yeah, let's just see what we can do during Worlds. Awesome. Um, if, if anyone deserves to be cocky right now, I, I think it's you guys, uh, as well as your jungler and Laura standing by with Malran. Oh. I mean, we have to, right? Oh, banger! <laughs> wow. Malran, I am so happy to finally be able to talk to you. We didn't have any interviews together. So first, tell me about this year with Rogue for you. How was it? No. Oh. Mm. I mean. <laughs> I just, I just like mm, Europe teams because my play style is LPL or LEC. So, mm. I, I love look. <laughs> I we have to agree. I mean, when we think about everything you brought to jungle in Europe, whether it's your special way of playing Javan or your pathings or everything you do, people often describe you as being a crazy jungler, but crazy good jungler. Do you agree on that? <laughs> I agree, sometimes really crazy, but I like my playstyle. <laughs> Please never change it. <laughs> We're gonna need that during world. <laughs> Last question for you, Manron. What does it mean to you to win the LEC trophy today with Rogue? Uh, for me, same LK or other league. So I'm just very happy now. And we're pretty happy and thankful to have you in the league, Malron. Thank you. And Shucks, back to you. Thank you very much.
I'm not going to keep the guys too much longer because I'm sure they want to um, celebrate with their team, their other team, their team that makes everything happen for them when they are on stage, uh, the support staff. Uh, and who would like to say something about your wonderful support staff? I mean, all of them from the people uh, that get you your food in time, that train you, that uh, maybe even give you a massage when you need it, that are there mentally. Uh, Odo, would you like to speak to them? Yeah, I think uh, everyone stepped up massively, you know, uh, all the way from coaching staff to the last member of the coaching staff, you know, even to, to Anton, our chef. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I think, you know, spring finals was a valuable lesson for us, uh, you know, as a team, as players and as a coaching staff, you know, because um, we did feel like we lost because we went in kind of under prepped, you know. And I think throughout this playoffs, uh, coaching staff did a great job. I think they started making, you know, difficult decisions that we were, we did not we were not willing to make in in spring and it was it kind of cost us the title in spring and i think you know coming into this playoffs i felt like they were uh they were a lot more decisive with their uh, with their play with their uh, you know decisions about draft and play style and everything so everyone just stepped up massively it was it was incredible okay um i love that note um before we continue and I let you just say your final words to all the crowd here, one thing left to do is the MasterCard play of the week. It's the comp show over here. It's the comp <laughs> Pentakill on Callista, his third of the year. This is crazy. Did you know you're only the second uh, ADC or actually I think player to get a Pentakill in the final after Reckless? Honestly, I think this series I might have had at least three moments when I kind of felt that the pentakill was coming and yeah. two of them they were stolen. Unfortunately, I could maybe do three pentakills. It's okay, I still love my teammates though. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I hope I made uh, Martin happy also. And we are in Sweden, baby! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. The final thing I'm going to need from you is I'm just going to go down the line and open up the floor to anything you may want to say. Uh, I'll start with you, Comp, and then we'll go. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Oh, uh, I just want to open the floor for the last time. You can say whatever you want to say, be it to the people at home, to the people in the I area. mean, honestly, guys, you have all been amazing. I think, as I said, like, it's a lifetime experience. It's actually my first time playing in an arena like this. I actually love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's fucking go! And one more thing, I'm sorry. I want everyone involved, though. Shoot! <laughs> Larsen. Uh, well, that's helt galet. Ni alla har gett mig ett minne som alla kommer glömma. Ni har helt galna som publik. Och bara, tack som fan till alla. at home, Larson saying, this is crazy. You've been an incredible audience. Thank you so much. Odoamne, uh, yours is the honor. Yeah, uh, I mean, I already poured my heart out in the interview earlier. Uh, the only thing I can I can say again is uh, thank you, Malmö, for uh, for making my first, my first ever title. Uh, such a wonderful experience. You guys are amazing. take the very last PGL selfie um, of this year. Um, to everyone here, uh, it was a really long wait. Three years, times when I hope we gave you entertainment when you needed it the most, but this weekend brought us all back together. It's thanks to all of you, 10,000 people here, everyone who are watching from home, the fact that we can even do this and that we're so happy to make the show for you every single week. Thank you for witnessing history with us Rogue with their very first championship after years of falling short and being back in this arena was an honor for all of us. Shout out to the production crew, shout out to everybody. Thank you, Malmö.
Yeah? Yeah? Let's we'll take two, we'll take two. One here. One. And... Cheers! Awesome. Thank you all so much. Plenty more League of Legends to be had, of course, across the Atlantic. But we've got G2, Fnatic, Mad, and Rogue heading to the World Championship for Europe. We believe in you guys. Kick some ass. And we look forward to seeing you in the LEC in 2023. See you at Worlds, baby! Season. Ah! The Bernal sold on a Baron at 24 minutes for the Lion. Rogue are completely oh! digital. Oh! That's the execute from the Whirling Death. <laughs> Dragon so low, smite it, secured with a true shot barrage. Rogue with their first win of summer. Happy, happy birthday to you. Tiger Moss is hunting. He finds the kill with the ebb and flow. Aqua Prison sides double for Caps comes one back in. Caps continues to run for his life. Flash still available to him. Step forward. Caps gets himself another kill. Death Malow X could mark the spot. B drop. Oh, the stun. Oh, my God. Oh, that was actually disgusting from Jean Malow. What? Execute by name. Execute by nature. Flash available for Razzle. Hostile take on it. No. No way. Fnatic win! The best game of the split! Many, many perksy. Why am I here? Because we value your incredible insight. We actually have a pool that we want to take you to later. Ah, so we need to have some okay, discussions. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe they managed to do it, but it just looks really troll to me. Finn manages to have a good flash. Okay, Finn <laughs> picked up the flash. <laughs> <laughs> the first card I'm going to play is a reckless fist bump pose, and then upsets, whose stats are doubled if there's no reckless on the field. It's GG. You're over, I win. It's an absolute slaughter in the big lane, the triple for Twitch, and the game for Fnatic. Are you not entertained? Is this not pink European League of Legends? Welcome to week four of the LEC 2022 Summer Edition, live from Berlin, Germany. As you may have seen during the opener of the show, it's Soul Guardian weekend. The power of the LEC courses through my veins. That's what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what the oh, oh, the oh, 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 Master class from G2 and the birthday boy. Hang on, Jogu, buddy, did you just spellbook smite the cannon away from your AD carry? <laughs> Korean mechanics, baby. <laughs> the sustained damage that will win these fights. Karzy popping off, vitality. A good job, Perks. Nice game. You played very well. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, nothing but love. We are on track here for a perfect game from Fnatic. No, I don't wonder, say that. The moment might have just cursed him. No. Can he get out of the perfect game? 
Wizard it about to be ruined? Why would you Shut say down? that? Irrelevant now going in the charm. Perfectly timed from Niski. Gets the space. Oh, the video. He wants to finish and he gets it. The chain lasts. But Niski ready for a fight. Zanzara versus, versus Niski. Zanzara flash back. He gets it. Oh, mid versus mid. He's, He's going to have to back away. BTO has the ultimate. Had to finish it. The shutdown. Welcome everyone to the final week of the LEC Summer regular season. You can't fail now as our teams are looking to secure those all important wins in one of the tightest races for the playoffs we have ever seen. Guys, look, there is a sign. Danzara picks Karner. I can lock it in, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ooh. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Get over here! Flawless ace. Cataclysm not going to be available for the free treat. Gets the knockup, the follow up, the final breath. They've done it. They've done it. SK Gaming one step closer towards playoffs. GG, easy. Mark Green pops the stopwatch. New Duck goes in with the Cataclysm, puts a stopwatch down. That's over three. Hill That's That's four. Lock him in place. Comp one more. Give it to him. The no. stopwatch. Finn delays it. The comp will have. Shielded the devour absolutely massive with a three-man knockback! The lasers of disaster spelled for SK their doom as XL keep their hopes alive. Welcome to the final day of the oh. LEC 2022 regular season. Three teams are still in the fight for the two last playoff spots. Caps off to the side. Now focusing Caps. on the ultimate coming out from the trundle. Stolen away by Caps, keeping him alive. Now Caps. stepping forward, Caps oh on a rampage! Caps versus the one. Worlds with a game left to play in the regular season. Reinforcements less than a minute away. I'm taking a hit by the power. big. I'm taking leaving away, but he's taking the 80 sword away to GA. No, no, just like that. Hopes and dreams. Can he keep them going? He's just too damn strong. Are you kidding me? In the face of death, in the face of elimination, in the face of fate falling away from his hands, upset says no. Fanatics say yes. New Duck interrupted the TP. Patrick gets himself a kill. The Willie, goodbye. Welcome everyone to the LEC Summer Playoffs. We've got Rogue and the Mad Lions fighting for a guaranteed spot in Malmö and the World Championship. It is time to kick off the LEC 2022 Summer Playoffs. What was I? An angry little kitty cat. Oh! Armin oh! gets the two round the prison and He's fall. Down. Comp is down. Five members have fallen. Mad Lions with the ace are inside. <laughs> it's time for Silver Scrapes, Waylon and Dave. You know how much I love it. Another choking meme. Get some new material. It is a static shock on the back of Rogue as Malrang is flying forward. Flashing That's a quadra. Cobb looking for the pentakill. The boomerang. By some time. Pentakill! Rogue are one step closer to the LEC finals. Let's set the scene. It's 2018. Cadrill, cancel a meme. Cadrill? <laughs> Tonight, Fnatic and XL face off in an elimination match in the lower bracket. I really want to make it to Malmö because it's a live event in my home country in front of a massive crowd, and I would feel so bad if I wasn't there. Finn will be next on the menu, and it's up to Patrick and Markoon alongside Mickey to do it all. Oh, 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 that was gorgeous. XL be the name that you fear. XL, they can see the win in their eyes. They can see the one nil and they will take it from Fnatic. Horizon oh, focus, oh, absolute focus. This is scripted, oh, guys, this is scripted. I did reverse sweep before in my career, so it's not impossible. Lock, load, aim, shoot. I <laughs> need an opponent to keep the team out of the road. Not dead, man, baby! Patrick's doing exactly the same. I have a watcher chat! What the? What's happening? What the? Fnatic, keep the series alive. It's only one game left. Fnatic or XL, one of these teams is going home. XL go back to the fountain. Patrick trying to survive with the calling. Won't quite be enough. In the end, he dies. XL were 2-0 up, but XL fell short. Fnatic are still in the LEC playoffs. 
Misfits or Fnatic, one team will lock their spot to the World Championship and keep their Malmö dreams alive. The LEC Playoffs Round 2 starts right now. All D coming in, oh. knocking the jungle out of the pit. Razzle going to the midst of everything, they flash in! They're going to go for it, there's no way they can lose with the jungle out of the pit. He manages to take it! Razzle! Performance last week, finding purchase again. But there is nothing left for Misfits. There is no organization. There is no nexus. And for the tenth time in their history, Fnatic will lock worlds and knock Misfits out of the playoffs. It's Medi, Betty, and Mark. And I'm looking forward to bringing you this series today, the Kings match. They called in the Forge God, but the Tempest Fate finds the backline. Unbreakable Shield coming up in the world, and Death Dance is shut down. And immediately, Black gets online. There's two. Looking for three as Malrang tries to get away, but the chase is on. And there's no escape for the Monkey. King, you have to feel dice to the tower. The G2 of old demolish Rogue. And they will make their way to their 11th final. Mad Lions and Fnatic fight for the final spot in Malmo tonight. That's all on the line for Mad Lions and Fnatic here. As Upset looks for the backline, exhausted, but Unforgiven Upset just takes him out. Niski next on the menu for Upset, and he will not be denied. 20 playoffs and 12 finals. Fnatic don't want to stop there. They're looking for number 30. Live from Malmö, Sweden. I cannot believe that we are here. I cannot believe that after three years, we are back in an arena. Malmö, are you ready to cheer on the teams? I am so pumped to be back in an arena. Flash, John, Ryan, he's going to the X-Con, the Jack as well, and he's going to dive off the trip, that's one. He's looking to make it three, he's going to make it out play to win the game. Not be denied, they will not be stopped. No!